Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode. This is episode 5. Today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I don't normally do it like this, but I plan on doing it just to have a little bit of fun. So today, what we're going to be working on is we're going to start getting things set up to dissolve this ocean monument. So by dissolving the ocean monument and getting rid of it so we can make it a farm, I need to do a lot of sand gathering and I need to do a lot of uh, sponge collection. Unfortunately, I don't have any yet. So, we're going to take today, we're going to go gather some sand and get some sponges. It's not like most episodes where I normally throw in a bunch of fun stuff. I plan on cracking some jokes on the way, having some fun doing the ocean monuments and collecting the sand. And we'll see how it goes from there. Hopefully we can get some time in with somebody else. I don't know how it's going yet. They haven't been doing too well on the front of being able to play. So I'm not expecting anybody to actually hop on and play. But if we can get some time with somebody, we will do it. So inside the first ocean monument, currently getting this guy killed. I'm a big fan of the old pop the doors. I actually really like this method now that I've done it more. Ooh, this is going to be a death trap. Two down. Time for number three. This is the fun one. Oh, she's getting repaired. Once it's repaired, I'm going to be switching over to the chest plate for a little while. A lot of these are within kind of close proximity of where the base is, so. It's not like I have to worry too much about all the what's what. But I am on a hunt. I want... I straight up just want to get uh, sponges right now. Hopefully I find one with a bunch of sponges in it. It's all three of them, because I do got mob heads on, so. So, just cleared the second ocean monument, and let's see what we get for goodies. Okay, so I was doing the ones mainly around here. There's one right over here. That was the first one I did. Should be, like, right there. And the second one I did was right here. Like, they're very close to this area. That way then I can use this as a quick getaway hub. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, there's one I gotta go clear, actually. Um, the next one I'm gonna do is actually the one that's right by the shopping district. That way then we can actually use boats and stuff in the vicinity and not have to worry about anything. That and I can use the, uh, I can use the beds at uh, the Spleef Arena to sleep away, actually. Now that I think about it, I can use that. That sounds like a good idea. But I know there's one right here, and I just want to get rid of it. I This one right here. I just don't want to put up with it sitting here anymore. Uh, looks beautiful coming in the distance, doesn't it? But we got the one here. We're going to get rid of this one's Elder Guardians. 
I doubt we're going to have the luck that I had on the last one. So the last one, when I flew in, I pretty much shot straight into the gold area. And they still didn't hit me with mining fatigue yet. And I bored my way right into that back channel that connects uh, the two side ones. I went straight for the kill instantly on both of them. And it was after I killed... I was just about to kill the second one. I had like two hits left and mining fatigue finally kicked in. And I was like, crap. Because I was going to bore straight up if it didn't kick in quick enough. Well, tally-ho. Still didn't hit me with that mining fatigue. Let's hurry up and get away from all this firepower coming at me. That's a lot of firepower. That one wasn't fun. But we're going to carry on, get to the next one, finish it off. I mean, how much damage are they going to really do to me? Let's be honest. With that many on one side, this side shouldn't be too bad. But again, we are here for the sponges, so we're going to, you know, take our time. Be cautious. Yeah, they give one sponge a piece. But, albeit one sponge a piece, sponge rooms are still by far more effective. I'm hoping to walk out of here with a... Oh. I'd say about three stacks is my goal. And I'm currently at 42, so. Dead. Okay, so we're going to look for the third one, kill him, and get out of here. I don't know what to do from this point, so yeah, we're just going to do this. Okay, so we're going to wait it out and ride out the fatigue, mining fatigue. It's just extra stuff to carry when you gotta carry uh, milk buckets. So instead of carrying milk buckets, I just wait it out. I create a little safe space like this. And I'm completely surrounded by doors. They can't see me. So, just got done clearing out the rest of that ocean monument. Collected the two rooms. Now I got a stack and 45 worth of sponges. I'm gonna have to start drying them out eventually. Fortunately, I like doing the nether way. It's easy. Another thing is we're going to need a couple more to dive into. I need just a little bit more for the project that we're going to be doing. And we'll see how this keeps turning out. Because honestly, this is kind of fun. Just putzing around, clearing out guardian temples all night. I'm rather enjoying myself doing it. It sounds pretty mundane, like, yeah, whatever, you're just going through killing these guys and doing this and that. But it's it's pretty fun. So, I'm going to jump in on this one. One of the weird things about this map is when I did the scouting for the biomes, because this is 1.18, I wanted to check out how the world actually generated, too. So, when I did all this... I was exploring this ocean biome, and one of the few things, like I say ocean biome, this thing is like 2,000 by 3,000 with the mushroom islands in the middle of them, but one of the things I noticed is like these are everywhere. There is over 20 ocean monuments in the 2,000 by 3,000 area, so... 
when I tell you guys like I'm hopping from point A to point B to point A to point B, it's because 90% of these that I've dived on already, actually 100% of them, I've already passed at one point. Like I knew where they were already. And not from pre-planning this. This is the direction of the shopping district. Just hang that way and boom. The reason I know this one is because when I was going to visit my friend Winter, who is also on the server, also not a fairly active player, you follow this trail right here along the cold biome, and it was right there. Because following this trail here will lead you right back to the farming area. You'll see. Just like this. Boom, there it is. So that's how I knew about this one. The other ones where it's just, you go exploring, oh, I'm trying to find a desert biome. Oh, there it is. Look at that, now I gotta avoid this while I'm on a boat. So it's like, I know it sounds like I'm super cheesing it, having all this prior knowledge, but I, there's nothing I can do. Like, what do you want me to do about it? I know these locations because clearly there's some oh crap it's not hard to just boat around and end up finding everything there's a lot of these like seriously a lot you can't go 300 blocks pretty much without finding one got him like, I've been legitimately killing all these guys. So I got 11 heads, 3 per. They're 100% drop. So this is going to be the 4th temple. And it's not like I'm going back dropping supplies off. I'm not. I literally am just jumping from temple to temple right now. There he is. So, now that I killed them, we're going to we're going to do our little camp out again. Wait for the mining effect to wear off, which it's not that that's not bad. That's not a long time. Once it wears off, we'll get back to it and check the monument for any sponges. Holy crap. <laughs> I was just trying to find my way back. So, one of the tricks that I learned a long time ago about finding a sponge room is once you clear the once you clear the ocean monument of the elders and you can't get uh, mining fatigue anymore, look for the uh, dark prismarine like this. You will always find a room. And we're gonna start heading back. As for these, I got enough. I'm content with how much I have. Okay, now that we're done doing the Guardian Temples, or Ocean Monuments, whatever you wanna call them for you, game calls them Ocean Monuments. I tend to mix up terms what I call them. Same with a couple other things in the game. What we're going to do now is start gathering sand. I want to start getting a good amount of sand. Because like I said earlier, we are going to do an ocean monument draining. This is actually where I hunted for uh, sea turtle eggs. With trying to drain an ocean monument fully, it can be a pretty tough thing to bite in and chew sometimes. I wanted to kind of do a combo method where you section it off and then leech it with the sponges. I thought it would be a little bit easier that way. 
with segmenting it off the way I plan on doing, it's just a lot easier. So now that we're here, we're mining some sand. What I was talking about earlier is I know the old method of draining an ocean monument, it was the easiest way was just use sand. Well, with sponges, I know some purists are like, oh, it's still better to do it with sand and yada, yada, yada. It's so much faster when you got a timeline to produce content. Doing it with sand when you have a regular job and you're watching your daughter and you can only game from about 7 p.m. 1900 onward. It's taxing on you to try and do stuff the purest way. For example, one of the big things I'm all for, actually, that is a consistent debate in the Minecraft community is TNT duplication. My definition of duplication on illegality against the game is strictly if your duplication is duplicating an item that you can collect. For example, in Bedrock Edition, I have done this at one point before I became a little bit more hardcore, duplicating an item in a chest using the pistons to push the chest and grabbing it while it's in mid transition and duplicating it that way where you can literally multiply an item that is cheating. TNT duplication using a flying machine where it duplicates a block and triggers that duplicated block instantaneously to detonate, that is not cheating. Mojang came out and admitted they wanted they put that back in the game for a reason. Their reason is up to them. But they put it back into the game after removing it. So I'm going to go with their side on it. And that is the dominant reason for it. They removed it for a reason. Which is they felt it was cheaty. And then they put it back in for whatever reason. And I'm not going to argue with Mojang on why they put it back in. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a look inside what it's like doing heavy excavation for some projects like this. A lot of people do content for creative mode. Oh, we'll just open the world and do it in creative mode. Doing mass scale projects in survival, it's a lot more rewarding to me because I personally had to go out and resource gather. I personally had to go out and get all the material. I couldn't just open inventory and have an automatic unlimited supply. Dark Prismarine. For me to farm it, I have to have both a guardian farm and a squid farm. For me to do my little house that I did, I had to personally go out and gather all of that mushroom stuff. All the red mushroom blocks, all the brown mushroom blocks, and it's not just that easy. You have to silk touch those when you mine them. So you have to get a silk touch. You have to go out and hand, co hand collect them. And it's not like they're heavily abundant per stock. Like you actually have to go out and put some time to cutting them down to actually do that. We'll fast forward, see, I'm going to try and fill up all five of those shulker boxes that I brought, and I'll see how this is once we get all five. It should be a healthy amount for what we want, but no promises, obviously. Okay. Hey everyone, now that I'm back here, I realized I didn't actually record any more stuff afterwards. 
I thought I hit the record button and I didn't, but I did end up getting a bunch of sand. I, I did end up filling up all five shulker boxes. Unfortunately, that's all I got for today. So if you could like, subscribe, leave a comment, and let me know how I did for today's video. I kind of wanted to give you guys the opportunity to see what it's like from my side, having to grind and get everything. It's not exactly the most entertaining thing, so I tried filling it with a bunch of me talking to myself, to you guys, because that's what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and thank you for watching.